Hello everybody, Waffle Time here. It has been seven months, but we really have come full circle, haven't we? I'm getting some crazy deja vu. But anyways, once you're ready to enter hard mode, there's one tremendous boss standing in your way, and that's the Wall of Flesh. He's a much different story when it comes to master mode, so today we're gonna kill him. To prepare for this fight, you'll need armor and accessories to match up to the Wall of Flesh's high attack and speed. You'll need some high-powered weapons, buff potions, and lastly, a long arena in hell to battle the Wall of Flesh on. Let's start with your armor and accessories. I strongly recommend Molten Armor, simply based on the fact that it has the highest defense of any armor set in pre hard mode and can strongly help keep you from getting killed in three hits in the underworld. It not only helps defend you against the wall of flesh itself, but it also helps to take an occasional hit from the high powered mobs that spawn in the underworld. Bats, lava, hell, I hate it here. Well, shit, I guess it's called hell for a reason. Never mind then, back to hating the underground jungle. Now onto your accessories, which are a bit peculiar for this fight since speed matters heaps. I'd recommend having lightning boots at the very least in order to stay away from the wall when it starts zooming. I'd also recommend getting a cobalt shield or a variation of it such as the obsidian shield in order to not take knockback and get stun locked or pushed back into the wall of flesh. My last recommendation is either the worm scarf or brain of confusion which are absolutely great accessories even up until the final boss of Terraria. What really, really makes a difference though is the modified fire that comes along with your accessories, so make sure to try and go the extra mile and get warding on all of your accessories to get a massive bonus to your defense. It helps a lot more than I'd like to admit. The only real downside of it is making the goblin tinker or multi-billionaire overnight. One last tip for accessories, this is one of the few boss fights I wouldn't recommend a shield of Cthulhu with. If you dash forward, you might get hit right backwards into the wall of flesh, which is a death wish in itself because he could juggle you like none other. Let's move on to your weapons. For some of you, this might be a huge nostalgia trip and you may have heard it many times before, but I love using bean aids against the wall of flesh. It takes care of the hungry super easily and also deteriorates the wall of flesh quite well. The only thing is you need to have another weapon on hand since the wall has so much health and gets insanely fast the lower its health gets. You'll want to get rid of it quick when it begins to speed up so I'd say after maybe half of the wall's health is gone give or take bust out this bad boy the star cannon and start firing away. It's an extremely powerful pre hard mode weapon and can take care of the wall of flesh with ease. The ammo is a bit tricky to get it's fallen stars but it's very much worth it in the end. Buff potions will be the same most of the time. For this fight though I want to greatly emphasize how important swiftness potions are. Speed is definitely key in this fight. So in total you'll want to have your iron skin potions, endurance, regeneration, swiftness, and wrath or rage, and also a snack such as a pumpkin pie so you can get a quick well-fed buff. Other than that an ammo reservation potion comes greatly in handy especially with the star cannon since its ammo is so expensive. The final component of putting the wall of flesh through the meat grinder is going to be your arena? Arena I guess? I almost don't want to call it an arena just because it's simply a really, really long platform. Personally, I like to make my platform all out of ash blocks simply on account of the fact that the Wall of Flesh's AI will keep both of the eyes above the ash blocks and it comes greatly in handy for trying to target the eyes rather than just the mouth. But yeah, it's really simple. Just a super long platform with occasional holes in it just as a quick precaution to lava slime spilling lava all over the place. Also try to keep it as straight as possible. That always helps too. I know every now and again it'll change a level or two which isn't a big deal but try not to have massive mountains and hills you have to run over. Just make sure it's very long. Mine was approximately 800 blocks or so. Enough with preparing, let's beat the living shit out of the wall of flesh. You'll want to throw a guide voodoo doll into some lava and get going. I like to preemptively throw down some beanage just so bees start spilling out immediately and get to work. The battle itself is quite self-explanatory. You'll want to keep your distance and target the eyes instead of the mouth since the eyes have much less defense than the mouth, meaning you'll get to kill this big bastard that much quicker. The beanades make really quick work of the wall of flesh's slow phase, but as soon as he speeds up, we're gonna bust out the star cannon and go to work. The star cannon is powerful enough to where you don't really have to worry about anything but your ammo and running out of space on your bridge. So as long as you have plenty of ammo and a very long platform to keep battling on, you should be in business. If you're having trouble avoiding those laser beams as they begin to speed up, Try flying in an up and down motion, that seems to help me avoid a lot of the lasers. Keep on running from the sound of a bag of flesh hurtling at 50 miles per hour behind you, and shoot at it as much as you can, and congratulations, you have single-handedly defeated the wall of flesh in master mode. Unfortunately, that's going to be all for today, you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you want to come and chat, be sure to join our Discord. The link is in the description below. Thank you all so much again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.